watching those short clips on screen, or even by looking around you on each corner in the room, you will see that razor sharp edges do not exist in real life, and this also applies in 3D world. So in this video, let us learn how to make perfect edges in three different ways. Say you made a model like this, a simple desk table, leaving it this way with those sharp edges would be unfinished work, so let's demonstrate on it with the three beveling methods. First one is the bevel tool, and with this, we can smooth certain edges in a fast way, for example in the draw handle, we can select a number of edges in edit mode and use the bevel tool by pressing Ctrl and B, this way we make it chamfered, then by using the mouse wheel, we can increase the number of segments inside the chamfer to make it look smoother. Using shade smooth after that is also recommended. Keep in mind that if you change the object scale before the bevel, which is the normal thing to do, and try to bevel it after that, you might get weird shapes or uneven chamfer, and to fix this, you need to apply scale information on the object by hitting Ctrl A in object mode, then you go back to edit mode and do your thing, and that applies for most tools and not the bevel alone, so keep that in mind. This method as we said is fast and works on selective edges, but what about an entire object, to give this desk or part of it a smoother look, we use the bevel modifier, in the modifiers menu, look for the bevel one to add it, in it we have couple of settings we can change similar to the tool we just used. The amount value will control the chamfer, same as when we pressed Ctrl B, and the segments will add the smoothness to the edge. A small tip to mention here, if you want to copy the bevel modifier to different objects, you can apply scale on them, then use the link menu to copy the same bevel to them, easy and fast. There will be also a time where you have an object that the bevel don't show on it, even after adding the modifier, in this case, you may try unchecking the clamp overlap option in the geometry tab, it will make it look weird at first, but once you fix the chamfer amount, everything will look great again, though we don't have anything complex here so just keep that in mind, and at the mention of complex things, bevel can sometimes add extra loads on the scene since it's basically adding more segments, and in this case, the third method is the one you go to, the bevel node, one thing to mention is, this last process only work with cycles since it depends on faking it with ray tracing, so let's see how this works. Now, to smooth the edges using nodes, we can hit shift A and search for bevel, and here it is, it has a normal output slot, so we should connect it to the normal input in the BSDF, and now the light will behave different around those edges to make them look as if they are chamfered, the two values on this node are the same as the tools we used before, one to fake the chamfer, and the other to smooth it, so I will exaggerate with it just to demonstrate the case, let's make this value really small, 0 0.01 maybe, then give it around 8 segments, and this is how it looks, pretty cool right, and that's it, you now have three ways in smoothing your edges, use any of them I don't care, just don't leave them sharp, and we are done here, goodbye.